Hello everybody, what's up? Lord Josh here. Lately in my Taoist Facebook group, I've had quite a lot of magical practitioners talking about occult books. Seems like people are hungry for information and they want to seek out written knowledge, mostly on the subjects of Taoist ritual magic. I'm blessed to have quite an extensive library of grimoires, scrolls and ancient teachings, all of which I value and treasure immensely. There's a couple of reasons as to why I'm making this video now. The first is to of course share some wonderful books with all of you to hopefully inspire your own personal practice, and perhaps more importantly, I want this video to serve a greater purpose. I get people from all walks of life who watch this channel, and a lot of them seem to think that if you're a Taoist, then you must know everything about every Taoist practice. That's like saying, well, if you're an athlete who is great at running, you should also be great at fencing because it's a sport. It doesn't work that way. As I always say, I specialize in weather magic and earth magic any type of meditation that involves the natural elements. So it is a broad category of techniques and methods, but when viewers ask me things about martial arts, or qigong, or creating spirit bodies, I don't have a great deal of experience with these paths. There are more qualified people out there who know way more than I do. So here, I'll be redirecting you to more appropriate sources of information in the form of books. If you're one of those few who loves weather magic, then you're in the right place. But if you want to explore other avenues of Eastern ritual magic, then maybe these books will prove useful to you. I want to try and keep this one short and sweet. We've got five books here with one honorable mention. Let's jump in. In no particular order, remember this is just my own opinion, I'm sure a lot of the books that you love won't get mentioned here. Number five is Tao Magic, the Chinese Art of the Occult, published in 1975 by, oh here we go, you ready for this? I'm going to butcher this name, apologies in advance, Irenaeus Laszlo Ligiza, is that right? How did I do? I'm much better with Chinese names. This book is quite unusual. It does not come up very often within Taoist circles. It's very short, only 128 pages, and it's mostly centered around the subject of Taoist food talismans, written sigils, paper-based charms, magical drawings, and Taoist calligraphy. I can't show you any pictures here, unfortunately, because of copyright, but the images in the book are all large and clear. In many ways, this is a book on Chinese magical art. Inside, you've got foo that's been made by exorcists, priests, faith healers, hermit scholars, reclusive sages, and yes, you guessed it, weathermancers. There is some content here for Taoist weather magic in the form of Fu paper talismans. Some examples of the talismans include one for prolonging your life, an exorcist charm of the five thunder gods who have authority over rain and sunshine. There's even a charm used to prevent the loss of one's voice. There are also talismans for each of the five directions. Lots of variety in this book. If you're the type of magician who enjoys drawing or painting, you are quite creative with your brush and ink, this book will resonate with you. I'd also say if you are a Western occultist who uses a lot of sigil magic, I think this is the perfect book for you. My foo making skills are okay, certainly nowhere near as good as anything in this book. Some of the drawings are very complicated and elaborate. Currently, at the time of this video, this book is available on Amazon for only $16, so I would recommend that you pick this one up. Up next at number 4, The Teachings of Taoist Master Chuang, published in 1978 by Michael Sasso. The version I have has 330 pages. This one has a legendary status in Taoist inner circles. It's the exact opposite of the Tao Te Ching. That book is vague, 
cryptic, philosophical, sometimes contradictory in the way that it's written. This is an example of a technical, detailed, ritualistic book on the ins and outs of magical and religious Taoism. So if you want to learn how Taoism works as a religion, this is the ultimate book on that subject. You might be thinking, well, I don't want to learn about religion, I want to learn about magic. I get that, but religion and occultism are so interwoven, especially in the Far East, so when you learn about one, you will naturally learn about the other. Taoist Master Chuang was a descendant of 35 generations of Taoist priests. He practiced rituals mostly for the benefit of his followers in Taiwan, and he belonged to the Heavenly Master sect. The book has an incredible amount of variety to it. Black magic, exorcisms, meditation, breathing exercises, inner alchemy, and yes, thunder magic, yes. There is a lot of lay fa, thunder magic rituals in this book, and I can say as a practitioner of weather magic, everything on it is solid and authentic. In the introduction pages, it says, Young Taoists are taught that they must be humble, unassuming, and selfless, uninterested in wealth or fame. Well, that's me done already. I'm already out. I'm completely gone. But on a more serious note, you will also find pages that talk about the Tao of the left and Taoists who practice baneful magic on other people, on how this is kind of forbidden. There's a great deal of Taoist history in here as well. The book is currently available on Amazon for, I think it's about $35, so it's well worth the price. If you're wondering why I'm saying it in uh, US dollars and not in British pounds, I realize most of the people who watch me are in the United States. Up next at number three, my pick is the Complete I Ching 10th Anniversary Edition, the definitive translation by Taoist master Alfred Huang. Of course, the original I Ching, the Book of Changes, was published in the late 9th century BC. This version was published in 2010, so not that long ago really, considering the other two books were in the 1970s. It always helps when a real Taoist master has involvement in the creation process of a book. For me, it just makes the material more authentic. This version has 576 pages, so it's quite substantial. I'm sure most of you watching this video already know about the I Ching. It's definitely one of the more famous books. If you're a diviner and you're interested in Chinese Taoist divination and consulting the oracle, this is for you. Many people use it as a guide to their questions and decision making. The I Ching uses what is known as cleromancy, casting lots. The famous Three Kingdoms strategist Zhu Liang was said to have been a big fan of I Ching divination, and he was especially skilled with reading the oracle. He supposedly used the I Ching for mastery of infantry and cavalry formation tactics that were based on the book. You can pick this one up on Amazon for $17. Now it's time for the honourable mention. This is a personal favourite. Still on the subject of Chinese fortune telling, here is the perfect companion to the I Ching. It's called The Magical Lots of Zhu Liang. Consider this one an extension of the original teachings. It's written by Yu Jing He, published in 2011. It's another short Taoist book at only 150 pages, but it's very informative. Kong Ming was an avid oracle reader, and during his lifetime, he simplified the I Ching system and modified it into what is now known as the Magical Lots of Zhuge Liang. His goal was to make the oracle more accessible to the public, and this consists of 384 lots. 
it's always a really tough task and quite a challenge to make esoteric concepts more appealing to wider demographics. By doing this, you sometimes can risk diluting the teachings, but in this case, Kong Ming succeeded and he's really done an excellent job. And this is my personal favorite method of divination. That's how much I love it. I highly recommend this book. It's on Amazon for $7. That is great value. All right, number two. My friend Bless really likes this next book. It's called Tao of Craft, Fu Talismans and Casting Sigils in the Eastern Esoteric Tradition by Benabel Wen. Wen is a very respected figure in the Taoist magical circles. She's also on YouTube as well and she makes some great content on Taoist occultism. Maybe one day I'll do a list of best Taoist YouTube channels because Wen would certainly be on that list. There wouldn't be a lot of people to pick, mind you, so that would be a very short video. This book has a whopping 600 pages. I do enjoy reading longer books and it was also published in 2016, so it's relatively new. One thing that I love about this book, it's detailed, but it's actually really simple to understand. Everything is broken up and explained well. There's information in here on pacing the Northern Dipper. That's a massive part of my practice. There's information on hand seals. That's magical hand gestures used in Taoist rituals. There's a fantastic section on incense sticks and general ritual work as well as a lot of Fu Talisman sigil magic. This is like the Taoist Magician's Companion. I highly recommend it. You can currently get this book on Amazon for $32. Okay, number one. I think some of you will already know this. If you've been a viewer of the channel for any length of time, you'll probably know what the next book is. It's by old friend, Taoist Weather Magic and Feng Shui by Professor Jerry Allen Johnson, first published in 2007. Now with this book, there's a couple of different versions. There's the regular, which was published first, then there's the final edition. I must recommend the final edition to you, which was published in 2012. The regular has 284 pages. The final has, I think, 303, according to the copy that I've got. There's a lot more detail and description in the final. So if you're buying this book, that's the one to get. Now, this book is the gold standard on weather magic. It has information on summoning storms, procuring wind, soothing storms, how different organs in the body relate to the weather, the magical hand gestures that control the eight different directions of wind. It has a lot of information on thunder magic, which is used for both healing and exorcisms incantations used to perform weather magic, and of course, lots of teachings on things like feng shui, such as gathering qi from rivers and lakes, as well as some info on wu zing, the five Chinese elements. It has a lot of pictures and photographs pretty much on every single page. It's fantastic. Bless and I have based a lot of our methods of weather magic from this particular book, so we can both say it does indeed work. Now, there's always a catch with things that seem too perfect. The book itself is, is brilliant, but the price in some people's eyes is very high. Me personally, I don't give a damn. It's not that bad to me. I've bought books that are 10 times more expensive than this. On Amazon right now, it's going for $140 plus shipping. But... For whatever bizarre reason, it's available on the professor's official website for only $84. So I don't understand why it's so pricey on Amazon, but it is worth the money. That's the book you've got to get. So those are the books that I recommend to anyone who has a serious interest in Taoist magic and Chinese occultism. Enjoy them and let me know what your thoughts are once you've read them. I'll be back soon with more Taoist magic. Take care.